Hey everybody, welcome back to the Pearl and More Pretty channel. It's your girl, Nam Bella. I'm back with my two braids. You like? It's such an attractive, cheap hairstyle, okay? I went to the hair store and got the three for five packs of braiding here. And you know, you know sis do her own hair. I mean, it is what it is. I've been doing it for a long time. I used to want to be a hairdresser, but when I actually got a chance to work in a hair salon, I didn't like standing on my feet. But you know, I, I just, that's just me. I, it took me a long time to figure out what I wanted to do. And sometimes, you know, I still do other things, but that's just, that's just who I am. So anyway, I did this brown smoky eye using the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is actually my first palette that I ever bought. And I bought it because it came with so many colors. And I thought it was all the colors, but it was just it was just enough. Um, but it is a great palette to start with and learn. And Morph has some good prices. So I would suggest to run to Morph, get some brushes, get some palettes, get some products. They have, you know, affordable prices. You don't have to run straight to MAC and Sephora and do all of that. You can go to Morph and get your starter kit, sis. I used that palette and I did this nice little um, fall look. I want to say it's like a brown smoky eye-ish thing. I also introduced a few lip options from NYX. So if you want to see how I did this look, then you guys can stay tuned, you know? Keep watching. <laughs> you ready? Okay, let's hurry up. Cause I got somewhere to be. <laughs> this is gonna be as fast as possible, I promise. So I'm gonna start off with my moisturizer. And then I'm gonna prime with my illuminating primer. So let's go. A nice healthy glow and a nice foundation to start your foundation look at that so today I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs shameless youthful 24-hour foundation this foundation has a little red tint behind it but I love it because it gives me like a little tan look it's actually in color tan R490 So now I'm gonna go in with my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in color NW35. Is she blended? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's nice. <laughs> Wait, we not crease up. So finally, I got my hands on some uh, Studio Fix powder in C7. So I'm just gonna go over um, my under eyes with that. that. So now I'm still gonna set it, even though I used the Studio Fix powder, I'm gonna set it with the Sasha Buttercup. 
Trini, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a Trinidadian company, guys. Sorry. If you didn't know, now you know. Hmm. Not gonna bake because I don't want it to dry out too much. I already used the Studio Fix powder, so I'm gonna go ahead and just. take my bronzer you guys already know what kind I use because like what other kind is there after she made this one I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Coco Naughty and kind of contour it up a little bit warm it up a little bit On to the eyebrows. I'm gonna start with the Kai Brow Pomade in medium brown and fill them in real quick. And now I'm gonna go in with the pencil, the Kai Brow pencil, and just fill in the front a little bit. So now I'm gonna go in with the Kai Brow Eyebrow Highlighter. So I'm gonna use the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer to base for my eyeshadow. It is eyeshadow time. However, I'm having a little dilemma here. I have two palettes, one new, one really old. It was actually the first palette I bought. And I don't know which one I wanna use because I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear today and what look I'm actually going for. But I have an idea and I think I wanna use my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. But I was in between that and the new Kylie uh, Ulta Holiday palette it's actually exclusive just to Ulta it was a lot of recycled colors in here that I needed like I felt like I needed I tried to do a look yesterday when it was just it was just okay I don't know if I want to save that or if I want to do a nice fall smoky color with this palette I bought this palette first because it had or it seemed to have had a lot of useful colors in there 
um, for when I was actually trying to learn. And I've just been, every time I watch a YouTube <laughs> tutorial, they get me to buy something else and something else, which, you know, all of those something else is were great. However, I need to use what I already have. It's hard, it's easier said than done, but you gotta try. So I'm definitely gonna use my first palette that I ever bought myself. And I'm gonna do a brownish kind of look, if that makes sense. Wait for it. So the first color I'm gonna take into my crease is uh, the color Hunts, I believe it's called. If you look on the back, there's names on the back, but it's kind of difficult to do that. So what, what I assume to be Hunts, I'm gonna start with that. So now I'm gonna go in the deep crease with Jax. So now I'm gonna take the darker brown, which is called Chip, and put it all over my lid. This is gonna be pretty. Mm. Not done yet, but you know, I like it. It's looking good. Okay, I like how this is looking, but I can't tell if it's even or not. Now what I'm gonna do is just blend it out a little bit and make the transition look a little bit more smooth. So I am going to take, let's see what color this is, butter and kind of blend the two colors in a little bit. A little bit better, if I know I could do better. It's cute, moving on. So I'm gonna use the Matte NYX Liquid Liner. Ibeline New York Twinkling Black Liner. Has a little bit of glitter in it, so I'm gonna do my waterline with this, wish me luck. Whew. Hmm. It's called a waterline for a reason. It looks pretty, I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my waterline now with the black in this palette here. And now I wanna blend out the bottom. It's popping. So I'm gonna do a little bit of blush, highlight, and put on my lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got these lashes on. <laughs> I did my blush, I did my highlight. Now I am going to, I think I'm gonna do Fix Plus. Matte Fix Plus Setting Spray. Back up a little bit. So 
now I got my lashes on. Oh, these was messy because these are new lashes. Um, they are uh, iconic collection. And I got it from the beauty supply store. Some quick stuff, you know. The glue was so messy because I didn't curl them. It, it got a little messy. So this is how you play that off really fast. You take your liquid eyeliner and you, you know, go over it. So that's gonna dry and you're good. Don't worry about it. So, moving on to the lips. I got so much new lip stuff from NYX. I went in there and went a little, little cray cray yesterday. <laughs> um, I have two liners here. One is a little darker than the other. I have Coco and I have Downtown Beauty. So I think I'm gonna start with Coco. It's the lighter one. Then I got a NYX liquid lipstick. It's the NYX lingerie. And this is in the color Baby Doll, I believe. Yes, Baby Doll, it's so cute. It was so cute. I swatched so many cute colors yesterday. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> and then I even got another butter gloss. Now this one is called, let's see, Madeline. Madeline is really pretty. Let me see. I like it like this though. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna gloss it up. Sure. Oh, it's drying so nice. Playing next, y'all better. You better go ahead. Some more sticks, though. It is. Y'all better go get y'all some butter gloss. Look at that. <laughs> go get you some butter gloss. Mm. Madeline, perhaps. Again, let me recap on the lip because this is everything. This is the Coco. Actually, wrong. <laughs> the Coco lip pencil. The NYX lingerie and baby doll. And then the Madeline Butter Gloss will give you this. You know what? Just because I'm feeling a little, you know, feeling good, got like 20 minutes to get dressed, I'm gonna um, highlight under my brow. Just, gonna, just a tad bit with a highlighter that I use, which is Sandcastle Fenty Beauty, duh. Like, what, what other one is there? Mm -hmm. 
think it's time to get dressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go get dressed and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back, I'm dressed, and I'm ready for my little Friday. Y'all see my happy hour shirt? <laughs> uh, got my two braids in, so I'm ready to go. So I just wanted to, you know, kind of wrap this video up. Thank you guys for always coming in, tuning in, and liking, sharing, whatever you're doing with my videos. Hopefully you're learning a little something along with me, because remember, I am still learning. So I decided to kind of just, you know, track my journey on here with you guys so you guys don't feel like, you know, I just knew how to do makeup all this time. No, I still mess up, but I wear those mistakes and it is what it is. But every time you do your makeup, you're gonna learn you know, or try something different. You know, I would suggest never stop watching tutorials. Just watch them, you know, in your spare time if you're not doing anything. Click on somebody's video, learn a little something, see how they do things, everybody's different. Learn new products, learn how to use them, and you'll be on your way. So don't say, oh, I can't do makeup, I can't do makeup. Sis, you can learn how to do a little something, okay? And that's why I'm here. So we can learn together and you know make this a thing because i think i think we got something going here no <laughs> again everybody like comment share subscribe don't forget to subscribe you know your girls need i need some numbers hook me up but until next time guys 